Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this long fringe native style beaded earrings. I've noticed that you like this type of earrings guys, that's why I'm coming with another tutorial. For these ones I will put in description similar earrings tutorial so you would be able to make a collection if you want. If you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more tutorials like this one, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. You could support me as member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads, white, purple, turquoise, and pink. Here I'm using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle. With size 11 and 12 it would be easier than with size 10 but it will work with all of them. And here these are scissors. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful white beads. And I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. And I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now I have my beads next to each other touching. Then I take two more white beads and I go back through the previous two, creating in this way three columns of two white beads. I take then two turquoise beads, go back through these two white beads like I did before and then backwards through these two turquoise and pull. Two more turquoise, go backwards And then like this. Then I'm going to add three more columns of two white beads. Okay my friends, now I'm ready with my first row. Now I take four white beads and I continue with my second row using the brick stitch. Now I'm doing double brick stitch, that's why I take four beads to start. And because in my next row I have less beads than in my previous row, what I'm going to do is to go under the second thread bridge here. You see, here I have these thread bridges, here I have one. And this is the second one between the second and the third white bead. And I pull. Then what I want to do guys is to go through these two beads that are closer to the center of my work. If you are familiar with the regular brick stitch this is the same thing just you're adding double the beads. When you start a row you start with four and then you could continue with two in each step. Now what I do here is that I'm reinforcing. 
I'm going backwards. If you are not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing it step by step, so everything will be okay. Okay, I'm reinforcing and you see how my beads stay nice and tight next to each other. I need two turquoise beads and I will go under the next thread bridge. From here on I'm adding them two by two. Here in the middle I need purple beads. Again two. Two turquoise. And two columns of two white beads. I will start the next row and as I mentioned I always started with four beads this time with two whites and two turquoise and again because I'm decreasing my work I'm going under the second thread bridge I will have less beads in this row than in the previous one that is why I'm choosing to go under the second thread bridge which is between the white and the turquoise. Then I go through the two that are closer to the center. And after that, because I don't like how they stretch and this hole here, what I want to do is to reinforce. I take two purple beads. From now on, I'm adding two by two, like I showed you in the previous row. So it's two purple, two more purple, and then symmetrically I finish with two turquoise and then two white beads. Then I take two turquoise, two purple, I always start with four and I always go under the second thread bridge between the turquoise and the purple now. Go like this. Then through the two purple which are closer to the center. And then reinforcing to remove the stretching of the beads and the hole between them. When I go under the second thread bridge, my beads stretch and I need to reinforce them. Two light pink beads. Two purple. And two turquoise. Starting again with four, two purple, two pink. Again, second thread bridge. And the same steps after that. Two pink, two purple. Two purple and two pink go here in the second thread bridge, which is the middle one. Repeat the steps. Two 
then three purple earring finding and three purple beads and as I'm exiting from here I go like this and pull then in just one pink in this direction and diagonally I want to go here and reinforce one more time this loop of beads here okay now my earring finding is reinforced and what I want to do is to exit here through all of those beads and I'm going to start making my fringes okay but before I start making my fringes I put here a needle on this tail thread because I want to remove it and what I want to do is after I put this tail thread here uh, I put a needle on this tail thread here to go in this direction through some beads like that and here I'm going to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull and I will go here through some beads and I'm going to cut this tail thread okay my friends and I have this and another preparatory work that I need before I start making my fringes is to add another row of white beads with single brick stitch how I do this I take two white beads and I go here under the first thread bridge this time with two beads this is because the next row will be with more beads than the previous and I'm expanding or increasing okay if you don't know anything about single and double brick stitch don't worry I'm showing everything step by step now I'm going through the bead which is closer to the center of my work I take another white bead and I go under the next thread bridge guys I take another white and here in the center I need turquoise bead and until the end guys I'm gonna be adding white beads okay and here I added three white beads but I'm out of thread bridges and I want to add four white beads to be symmetrical like, like from this side and uh, that is why I'm going to use the same thread bridge to add one more bead here okay and I have this now I'm going to flip because it's easier for me and now is the time to start making my fringes okay I'll take a lo long sequence of beads and I'll be back
Okay, my friends, and what I have here are nine white beads, one purple, three pink, three turquoise, three white, three purple, one white, seven turquoise, one purple, three pink, three purple, three turquoise, six pink, and three purple. And this sequence will repeat almost all the time, excluding the central fringe. And this will be the part that will change. Now here I have nine beads and in my next fringe I will have 12 and then 15 and it will increase with three at each step. As I said, excluding the central part, which will be only out of turquoise beads. Okay, but don't worry if you don't understand all of these explanations, I will show it step by step. So now what I need to do is to skip these three purple beads and to go back through all of the other beads, through all of them. Okay. This is a long thread, so don't worry if it looks like this in the beginning when you start pulling. Okay. Eventually you will be able to pull it the right way. Okay. Now what I need to do is to continue going through the beads in this direction. Okay. And I'm going through two beads like this and I pull tight and if you pre-stretch your thread before you make your fringes it will be less chance here to have a gap between the main part and the fringe part when the thread loosens up. So now what I do is that I want to go back in this direction and I want to exit through the neighbor white bead. And at this step, you might want to use your pliers if you need to. If the beads have small holes. Okay, now I will do the next fringe, which, as I said, will be the same sequence from here on. Just here, this part, the white beads will be with three more, which means 12. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and here is my next long sequence. Here I have 12 white beads with three more than here. And this sequence is the same as this one. One purple, three pink, three turquoise, three whites, three purple, one white, seven turquoise, one purple, three pink, three purple, three turquoise, six pink and three purple. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm skipping these three purple beads and what I want to do is to go through all of those in this direction. Okay. I will continue going like this. Careful not to skip any beads because it won't look good and you will need to start over. Okay, and I'm exiting out of the next seed bit. Okay, my friends, and then I will add my next long sequence and I'll be back to show you that. Now, guys, I'm picking up 15 white beads, the same long sequence, and then I'll skip this part and go through all of those beads, exit here, and I will be in a position to add my next fringe. And when I pick the beads for my next fringe, I will be back. 
Okay, guys, and this is my next fringe. And if it was too fast for you, how I did all of this, you could just rewind the video and see how I'm going back through those fringes, exiting here and then picking up the beads. So this is the same sequence, but with three beads more. So here they are 18, 9, 12, 15, 18 and the same sequence. OK, I'll go back and I will exit here at the center and I'll tell you what I'm picking up then. OK, guys, and now for the middle fringe, I take 58 turquoise beads and three purple beads. OK, I'll go back and I will reposition my thread for my next fringe. I'll pick up the next sequence and I'll be back. OK, guys, and I went back and I added the same sequence as this one. And from now on, guys, I'm going to be repeating these fringes symmetrically from this side. I will just continue then with this one, this one and this one. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how I finish my earring. OK, guys, and now I finished all the fringes of my long native style earrings. And here, what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm doing it the same way I showed you before by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. And I'm going in the next bit. This is the way you cut and add a new thread by creating a knot. OK. OK, guys, and now my long fringe native style earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more tutorials like this one, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. You could become a member and this comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page. I will be so happy to see them. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.